It's Weekend Update. Every year, colleges compete for the title of best party campus across the country. Normally, the number of kegs sold near the campus helps determine the top school. This year, the ranking system is totally based on the number of students who've contracted coronavirus. A same-sex penguin couple became first-time moms when they adopted a baby chick. But when asked, the penguins reassured everybody they're still just friends. NBC's streaming service, Peacock, will be featuring a reboot of the famous late 80s, early 90s sitcom Saved by the Bell. Returning will be familiar faces Zach Morris, A.C. Slater, and Jesse Spanner. But missing in that group, arguably their biggest star, Dustin Diamond, a.k.a. Screech, who has had a tremendous career in pornography, creating and starring in his very own Saved by the Smell. Maybe the greatest pornographic movie ever made. Well, Screech says he doesn't have time for Saved by the Bell reboots because he wrote a screenplay and landed one of his former co-stars to be a psychic. Yes, Screech and Principal Belding will be the stars of Saved by the Dumb. A woman put a McDonald's hamburger in a shoebox for nearly 24 years. After opening the shoebox for that much time, the hamburger looked exactly like a burger from today. We caught up with the cockroaches who had this to say, Where's the beef? <laughs> TMZ is reporting and sharing pictures of Kylie Jenner spending quality time with young billionaire Phi Kadra. Is it me? Does Kylie Jenner look like she's posing for Madame Tussaud's sculpture? I mean, you literally can Photoshop anyone behind her. Recently, numerous major media outlets were called to cover what was described as a fat, disgusting Trump supporter yelling obscenities at immigrants, calling them illegal and making fun of the way they spoke. But the story was quickly squashed when they found out it was just Ben Midler making fun of Melania. Thomas Calloway, the runner who during the Savannah Bridge run decided to slap the rear of local reporter Alex Bozargian, has been sentenced to one year of probation. And rightfully so. I mean, Bozargian was humiliated and violated. Thomas Calloway had this to say. You know, I was feeling good, I was running, then I saw that big Kim Kardashian bullet right in front of me. <laughs> I felt badass, I, re I felt really badass. In his defense, Callaway had binge watched Cobra Kai the night before. <laughs> and the Zarjan is Armenian. Delta Airlines has banned many passengers for their refusal to wear masks on recent flights. So it seems like many less people will be joining the Mile High Club. <laughs> During President Trump's speech at the Republican National Convention, Melania Trump made a fashion statement by wearing a bright green dress. When asked what statement she was trying to make, Melania Trump simply said she wanted to stand out in a crowd or the planet. <laughs> After seeing all the memes made from Melania Trump's green screen dress, Melania is considering wearing a full-body green screen suit next. This way, she can be removed entirely. Bella Thorne has opened an OnlyFans account, offering a three-pack of nude photos for $200. And through this, she's already earned more than a million dollars. The problem is, subscribers are complaining that Bella is only showing side boob. And because of this, OnlyFans is scrutinizing their hosts more and now is saying that the most they can charge for a set of photos is $50 and that payment for hosts will be received in 30 days as opposed to seven. Being drastically affected by this are starving sex workers, Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes, and Macaulay Culkin. The NBA players refused to play their playoff game in response to the killing of Jacob Blake in Wisconsin. 
although outspoken LeBron James still has no comment on teammate J.R. Smith seen kicking the shit out of a white protester. <laughs> LeBron James is making great efforts in helping change systematic racism in the United States. One way James is trying to help change the system is by paying poll workers a decent salary to help during the elections. Upon hearing the news, Trump snapped and said, he's been helping poll workers for years. Adam Abdul-Jabbar, the 28-year-old son of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, was recently arrested for stabbing a 60-year-old man with a large hunting knife to the point where the victim's skull was fractured. The victim says that the dispute was over trash cans, but witnesses paint a clearer picture saying that the 60 year old man told Adam that his father was not nearly as good as Shaquille O'Neal, that his father Kareem was a horrible martial artist, and that Kareem's two appearances on the 80s sitcom Different Strokes as Arnold's teacher were pathetic. Man, them's stabbing words. NASA recently announced that Jeanette Evans will be the first black astronaut to visit the International Space Station. So it looks like we'll have our first Black Lives Matter protest from space. Like the NBA, let's just hope Jeanette doesn't refuse to work on the day of liftoff. During the second day of the Republican National Convention, Melania Trump wore military fatigues. Unfortunately, not one woman went to Amazon.com to go purchase the outfit. Jeff Bezos became the world's first $200 billion man. And looking back, Jeff Bezos was the guy that was reselling my college school books. Damn you, Jeff. Washington football team owner Dan Snyder is receiving heat for allegedly directing staff members to videotape cheerleaders while they were changing for a swimsuit shoot basically attempting to obtain nude video of these cheerleaders. When Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was asked about this, he put his foot in his mouth and had this to say. That loser, I mean, our, our, our new cheerleader videos beat them every year. Every year, our outtakes are so much better. I mean, Robert Kraft and I used to call him the Washington Red Fully Clothed. Get it? Get it? Red fully clothed? This week, Ivanka Trump stated that Donald Trump wasn't changed by Washington, and in fact, Trump changed Washington. I'm sorry, sweetie. He changed the whole damn country. And in fact, he changed the whole damn world. Nancy Pelosi drew rebuke this week, encouraging Joe Biden not to debate Donald Trump in the upcoming presidential debates. Strange, because for the last four years, Pelosi has been debating Trump's every move. The Coast Guard came to the rescue when they shot at a shark that was swimming close to some swimmers. Don't worry, it's 2020. The shark was wearing a bulletproof vest. This week, ABC announced all the participants to this season's Dancing with the Stars, and the two most notable participants are rapper Nelly and Carol Baskin for Tiger King fame. If you're wondering how Carol Baskins will perform as a dancer, we think she's totally going to kill it. In spite of local coronavirus rules barring indoor personal care services, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi got her hair did at a San Francisco salon while not wearing a face mask. However, in her defense, with all the makeup and plastic surgery, she's technically always wearing a face mask. Utah Jazz star Donovan Mitchell recently uploaded explicit audio of him having sex with a woman inside Disney World's NBA bubble. Unfortunately, the video cut out before finding out if Mitchell and his partner made it down Splash Mountain. It was revealed that President Trump made strange statements to former White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee by saying the married woman should take one for the team and start dating North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. If Huckabee needs any advice, no one knows more about taking one for the team than Melania Trump. The lovely Mariah Carey has admitted that two of her songs, The Roof and My All, were dedicated to Miami Marlins CEO Derek Jeter. Mariah says that Jeter will always hold a special place in her heart. And for Jeter, Mariah is easily in the top 100? 150. 
somewhere in that range, 100 to 150. For Weekend Update, I'm Richard. And I'm Ryan. And we, and we wish, wish you a you happy, safe and happy, happy week. week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And please, comment below who you thought was funnier.